Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing out there? I hope you all had a wonderful Friday yesterday and I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful rest of the weekend. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support. Big up Stone yourself. Every single one of you guys who have been supporting this camp and supporting your girl. Thank you so, so much for your support. Let's jump straight into your message. You know it's messages from the masculines. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's see what your divine masculines have to say to you. Hey, why am I getting conversation? Um, I mean, confirmation so soon. <laughs> I guess whatever they're going to say here, you know, it's the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> All right, let's see what their message is to you today, guys. One more, please. And these cards are almost done. I'm working on them so you guys can have them to purchase for yourself because you guys had wanted to for a long time. But you, know, you remember my, my computer broke down, right? My laptop. So everything was paused. <sighs> yes all right so you see what i'm saying i got that confirmation ding just before and now we're just starting out with just yes yes so whatever you've been wondering whatever your question is whatever you're thinking about whatever that thought is that keeps running across your mind about the divine masculine the answer is yes and i'm getting it could be anything it could be anything whatever you're thinking about the answer is yes. So it's not only in regards to love here, it's in regards to other things as well. So the answer is yes. I want things to be the way they were when we first met. So your divine masculines, they miss that happiness with you. They miss feeling free with you. They miss being able to hold you and those are the ones who have been held, okay? You know, if you know you haven't been held, then keep that, that little thing that always keeps talking a lot shut, okay? Because sometimes people in the comments, they drive me nuts. But guys, your divine masculines are missing you. They're missing you. Don't tell me you can't forgive me because nobody's perfect. Huh? So they're going down memory lane. They're going down memory lane. These divine masculines messed up. Maybe that's what caused the separation in the first place. This could also have been your divine masculine walking away from you because they were scared this situation this connection with you and them like i'm getting moving too fast <laughs> like it was going too fast the deep intense love that they felt for you was unexplainable they couldn't understand it okay thank you so instead of trying to figure things out, they just skedaddled. I want to come to you, but I am so scared. Yeah, because they're wondering, have you forgiven me for the past? And this is coming out a lot, this forgiveness message. Which means some of us, we still haven't completely let go of things from the past. And you'll know if you have let go of things of the past. Because when that situation raises its ugly head again, whether it's through your divine masculine or through somebody else, when that situation appears in your life again, does it trigger you negatively? Or do you just remember that it happened and that's it? Oh, that's something that happened in my past. 
or when it happened again? Are you angry? Are you upset? Are you cursing out the masculine? Even though you said you forgave them. Well, that's how you'll know if you completely forgive someone. Because they may have hurt you in the past. But if you see them again, or they may disappoint you this time, not hurt you again because you shouldn't allow anyone to hurt you two, three, four, five, ten times. They do it one time, you, you cut their ass off, you know. But when they, when, they come, when they come back around, they're going to disappoint you. Everybody disappoints someone. We disappoint ourselves, we disappoint people. So when they disappoint you again, are you going to go back to the past? This is what you did in the past. This is the same thing you did. You haven't changed. Does it make you react like that? Or when they do something that they normally do in the past. You say to them. This situation or whatever you did or. I'm not happy. With the way you're treating me. I, I'm not happy with your actions. Do you talk about it? Or there, is there an argument? Whenever they disappoint you and then you take everything back to the past and remind them of all the negative things that they did. Do you talk about it? Whether it's with them or do you talk about it with yourself? Okay, this was something negative that this person did. I forgive them. I'm going to let it go and I'm not going to let it happen again. That's you healing. But if you get upset and you're cursing this person out like nothing because you can't let go of anything they did in the past, you aren't moving an inch. There's no healing there. No wonder the masculines have been saying this over and over. Because even though some of us, we say that we have forgiven our masculines, they are still still things in our mind or on our heart that we can't let go i don't think i can do this anymore they don't think they can stay away from you anymore is what i'm getting they don't think they can miss you any longer missing you hurts They want to come to you, but they're unsure of what you will say. They're unsure of how they will feel because it takes a lot for someone to apologize. It takes a lot for them to apologize. If someone gets up every day apologizing, apologizing, it so freely comes out of their mouth. It's, it's like it's nothing to them. It's just some words that I'm saying just to make the other person feel better, just so that they stop their noise. But when someone genuinely says, I'm sorry, you'll feel it. You'll hear it. And you'll know it. So your divine maskings are holding back and they don't think they can hold back any longer. It hurts me whenever you ignore me. Yes, as it should, divine masculines. As it should. And divine feminines, as you should. Whenever they are doing... These negative things that cause negative reactions to inside of you, Divine Feminine. That's when you are to learn that respect for yourself. It's like in your messages from your guides that was telling you that you should have respect for yourself. That's when you need to pull back and realize this person does not deserve the love you're giving to them. They do not deserve your attention. They do not deserve this emotion that you have spilling all over them. But you know who deserves it? You. So you pull back and you start to give it to yourself instead. Then they'll feel that effect. Then they'll feel that effect. And it's going to cause them to think. 
it's going to cause them to look back and realize that the things I was doing, it wasn't right. I should change my ways. I should elevate myself. But when you accept their foolishness over and over, when this person comes into your presence and every time they come, they disappoint you. And when they leave, you're left feeling like nobody. You're left feeling all sad. And as soon as they say, not not, can I come over? Okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> sure, come on over. Mm. What do you think they're going to do? People take advantage of the things they can. So every time you let them back into your life, they come back and they repeat the same thing. But you know why they repeat the same negative actions? Because you as a divine feminine, I mean you, you're supposed to learn when to say no. You're supposed to learn when to release. You're supposed to learn when to stop that pattern. It's your lessons that you should learn. It's your lessons. Sometimes we are like, every time I forgive this person, and they come back, they do the same thing. Every time they say, I'm sorry, they come back and they do the same thing. Well, I mean, did you see any change in this person before you accepted them back, my friend? Huh? Did you see any change in them before you accepted them back? No, you didn't. But you so want comfort and you so want somebody beside you. That you jumped and accepted them back. Not because they changed, but because you feel lacking. You feel like you need to need, like you need to have someone beside you. I've been through it so I can talk about it. That's why I can tell you because I've been through all these things. If I had no form of um, experience, I couldn't say anything to you. I love you so much I can't look into your eyes. So this is them feeling that remorse of things of the past. The things that they may have said, the disappointing actions, disappointing behaviors. Know that they're seeing everything. Because them thinking now because you have allowed them to think. Giving them their space. You know what Divine Masculine? Since you do not know how to respect me, how about... I go over there. How about I don't give you my time? How about I start to just ignore your ass? How about I don't say anything to you until you learn to respect the queen? How about that? No fighting, no arguments. Once you make your statements clear, once you tell someone how you want to be treated, and I do not mean in an argument, you talk to someone nicely and calmly, I do not appreciate the way you're talking to me. I do not appreciate the way you treat me. I do not appreciate the way you lie. And you have to know the person is lying to say that because sometimes we assume and we make up assumptions in our minds just because that's what we think, so we think they're lying, even though it's not. But you got to make sure somebody's lying before you call them a liar. Right? You have to have your evidence. Not just because you think so. You give them their space. That's why they need to get their space to heal. We have the key to each other's hearts. So they are now seeing that you are the one. They are now seeing the answers that they have been looking for. They are now seeing the perfectness that they have been wishing for, hoping for. Because when you were around them, Divine Feminines, their mind was so clouded with hatred and anger and pain. They couldn't see your love. They couldn't see your love for what it is. They thought it was a trick. Like why, like, why do I feel like this about this person? Oh, it's a trick. It's a trick. It's a trick. It's a trick. 
this 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 feeling is gonna is this feeling is gonna go away in a couple of weeks you know this person is gonna it, they're just pretending to love me and in a couple of weeks they're just gonna go so you know what before they walk away leave me like others have done in the past i leave first i leave first but they're seeing things more clearly now prepare yourself divine feminines huh, i like seeing that you know i like seeing that that's how you know something big is coming. Prepare yourself. What the hell? Sure. Contradiction. But anyways, I gotta read it because not everybody's energy is at the same place. <laughs> not right now, you know. I gotta read it. <laughs> There are some divine masculines who really want to come forward. Well, they said it, you know, but they're scared. But they're still wanting you to prepare yourself because they know that once they are ready, once they know and they feel that the time is right, once the time becomes right, once they regain that strength, that confidence to approach you, They're heading straight for you and no one's going to stop them. Okay. Okay, we got these two that are married here. So we got we can't pull them apart. <laughs> I am here. I am praying to God for guidance. So you're divine masculine, like I said. They're going to regain their strength. They're in their hermit mode. They're preparing themselves. They're here. So you got to prepare yourself. They have caught up with their 5D self. They have caught up with who they truly are. That's why you have I am here. But their inner self, their insecurities, you know, they got to make sure to get rid of that completely. So that nothing stops this progress, this wheel of fortune from turning when it's time for them to come forward. See what makes them stronger. See what tells them and shows them the direction they need to go and be in. Purr. Purr. And they're doing this through their hermit mode. That's when you find God. When you take time for yourself. When you're alone. Why do you think twin flames have to be alone? Because that's the only way you're going to find God. Because he's the one you're looking for. You think you're looking for your masculine? You're looking for God. The spiritual side of you. The spiritual part of you. That you have been ignoring. You're not looking for your masculine. That love you're feeling is not for your masculine. It's for God. Because God is also a part of your divine masculine. And it's the God part in your divine masculine you're attracted to. That's why you see past their shell. And you see and you know their soul. Because God is their soul. Why do you think you act so crazy when you find your divine masculine? Because that love that you feel, it's unconditional. It's the most powerful thing you've ever felt. And in, in a human body, it's hard to comprehend. It's hard to handle. You cannot feel the way that you feel about someone. You cannot feel the way you feel about your divine counterpart. And stay quiet. Because that love that you feel, it's eternal. It's internal. It's an infinite sense of peace and happiness and joy. That's the love of God. It's funny. I smile whenever I think of you. You have showed me what true love is. <laughs> so they're now understanding true love. Things are not what they seem. I am just feeding my ego. 
So it's their mind, like I said, their insecurities that's keeping them back. But they gotta release that. That's the only thing they gotta work on, getting that strength to move forward. This has been your message, everyone. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message. To purchase your book or reading, go to twindflamed.square.site for your bracelets, your money magnet bracelets, your protection bracelets, your keychains, your bath bombs, your incense. Go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. And that's my protection bracelet over there. I'm not going to move it again. I'm not going to move it. <laughs> Later, guys. Love you. And guys, do not forget to go over there on TikTok. Twindy222 to help to support your girl, get your girl to a hundred followers. I mean, a thousand, Lord, a thousand followers so I can start to do my free readings and giveaways on that platform. All right, guys, thank you so much. Watch those zodiac sign readings and like them, like them, and like here too, you know, everywhere. Help your girl spread the good news of God, okay. Later guys, later, one, one, one.